Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. We're going to have a look and see what's going on for you at the time you find this video. What you need to know for your highest good. As always, take what resonates as it resonates with you. Disregard the rest. Never force anything to fit. If something doesn't make sense at all, either hasn't happened yet or it's just not your reading, that's okay. Feel free to check out any other video on the channel. If something stands out to you, your messages could be there. Uh, check out the description box or the community page. Um, there's an announcement about a promotion that I'm running to celebrate reaching 8,000 subscribers. So we have Judgment that flew out and the Two of Cups, a big decision about a partnership, a big decision about a one-to-one -one connection, joining forces, starting something, taking something to the next level. Interesting. It could be proposals. It could be someone asking you out. And it's a big turning point whether you're aware of it or not at the time. All right. Hold on. I think I have a hair on my face. And it's going to tickle me all throughout the reading. Oh, I've been spending time with the boys. Okay, so Pisces, let's see what we got going on for you. Also in the description box, you have a week ahead reading. It's what I do on my other channel for the collective, but it could also resonate with you. Three of Wands, looking to the future, growth, expansion, expectation, something coming in. Um, Okay. What else did I want to say? I have no idea. Pisces members, stay tuned for your weekly reading. And as we're get, uh, getting closer to the month, um, I think it's the platinum level Pisces tier where you have a free reading every month. Okay. The star, the two swords. Seeing the truth or seeing the getting clarity in a situation where you've been kind of stuck or else, or there's also healing that comes in if something has been at a standstill or at an impasse and it seemed like it couldn't be saved it seemed like it couldn't be fixed there's some sort of miracle energy going on there okay all right thank you as always for your likes your shares your comments for subscribing for your donations, special thanks to my members. Everything you do is greatly appreciated. To support the channel, I mean. All right, let's see what's going on for Pisces placements at the time they watch this video. What they need to know for their highest good. row out. And we'll get going. Bottom of the deck, the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It's also the energy of doing the right thing. Uh, integrity, abiding the rules, the law, um, ethics. Could be uh, important conversations, official communication. All right, let's see. So in the current situation, we have the three of pentacles and the knight of pentacles. So there's progression here. There is growth, there's advancement, something that has been a collaboration, has been a team effort, whether it's you and a group of people or you and another person or you and a company. There's been working towards a mutual goal. There's been uh, building towards a mutual goal here. And there's progression happening with the Knight of Pentacles. So they could be reaching some sort of milestone with this. Um, it talks about, you know, there has been slow progress, but steady progress here. There has been perseverance. There has been commitment and dedication. And there's some sort of result, some sort of milestone that is achieved. In the challenge position, we have the Sun and the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. So it feels like I heard what now, what's next. Um, so it looks like something's reaching a culmination point and 
it's almost like you either take it to the next level or it's going to start to crumble. It, it's that time, okay? And maybe there's some hesitation, maybe there's some fear, maybe there's some anxiety going on, maybe someone feels like things are moving too fast. But the challenge is for someone to have the courage to, to offer something, to fully invest in something. What's on the mind? We have the Hermit and the Five of Wands, Virgo energy. So it feels like, yeah, for some of you, this is, you're dealing with someone who's got commitment issues. You're dealing with someone who's got a fear around commitment or a fear around taking the plunge and going all in into something. Whether it's a relationship, a romantic relationship, whether it's um, a business collaboration, um, whether it's a relationship with a friend or family member, um, a, a collaborative endeavor, whatever it is, okay? Someone is struggling. They may have trust issues. They may have uh, commitment issues. They may have, um, yeah, fear and anxiety because they're used to doing everything themselves, but they've had to learn to do everything themselves because they got... Uh, betrayed so many different times right and this could be you right or the person you're dealing with or the situation you're dealing with um but it looks like someone is really conflicted as to whether or not they they give up their single status whether or not they they give up or they change this approach their their mentality of doing everything themselves not trusting anyone else okay it, something has come to that point of we're either going to do this or we're not okay Someone's been used to doing everything themselves because they haven't been able to trust someone else because they, they got um, betrayed so many different times because they got hurt and, and they experienced loss as a result of them trusting other people or as a result of them committing to something. Could also be a situation where, you know, they've been here before. Like I say, they've been here before. They went for it. They committed. They got invested. They put everything they had into the situation and ended really badly. So it looks like whatever your dynamic is and whatever your collaboration is towards, it's coming to that place and it's triggering whoever this is, right? Because it's a case of it's all too familiar. I've been here before. I want to go for this, but I, I wanted to go for it last time. This is what I want to do, but this is what I did last time. It seemed fine, it seemed perfect, it seemed great, but I was wrong last time, so what if I'm wrong this time, right now? And again, this could be in a romantic situation, but it could also be just someone learning to trust another person. Um, it could be someone um, looking at whether or not they wanna invest their money into something. Like it's all well and good talking about it and coming up with plans and strategies and whatnot, but it's, it's time to put your money where your mouth is. And now this person's going, Am I sure I want to do this because I've been burnt in the past? In the foundation, we have temperance and the hangman. Yeah. And this is someone going, wait a minute. When it comes to joining forces, coming together, trusting another, putting my resources together with another, it gives them pause with the hangman. We have Sagittarius energy, we have Pisces energy, Virgo energy, Leo energy, doesn't matter. Um, it gives them pause because it's, I've been here before and it ended poorly. It ended badly for me. So now this person wants to pause things. Now this person wants to, they don't want to say no, they don't want to walk away, but also they're not necessarily ready to move forward to this next level or they haven't really, they feel like they haven't had the time to really wrap their head around it. There's a lot of fear and anxiety that, that's coming up to the surface because of past disappointment. In the recent past, we have death and the two of cups after it. So we, there's been some sort of completion. There's been some sort of, like I say, for some of you, this is where someone trusted another person in the past and it ended badly. But it could also be a situation where there's been a conflict, there's been a, a break, a separation, a recent coming together, a recent coming back together, a recent let's start over um, with this energy. And it's almost like I don't want to end up in the same place, but I don't know necessarily what to do differently. I don't want us to break up again, but I don't know that I'm ready to go where you want me to go. So I don't know how to tell you that. You know, this is one of them where it's like 
you just got back on track with someone or something and you're coming to the same uh, junction that you did in the past where it all started to crumble you're coming back to that decision you're coming back to that place you're coming back to that milestone and you either push through and move forward or it's going to fall apart again this is that sensitive time of starting something over starting again giving something a, a second chance or another chance and being afraid to be completely honest because you don't want it to fall apart again but at the same time you're not exactly comfortable with how fast things are going but it's like how do I say that how do I because I don't want it to fall apart again you know so let's see what we're looking at in the outcome we have the four of pentacles this is that energy of I don't want to lose this I don't want to crumble I don't want it to crumble I don't want it to go away four of pentacles the devil someone's desperate to hold on to something not to lose something the fool they may feel something slipping away they may feel the other person slipping away or it's again a fear of taking a chance a fear of relinquishing control and trusting a person and trusting a situation king of pentacles wheel of fortune Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy but again this is something that it would be a completely different approach it would be a radically different approach to what has happened previously it, it's a shock to this person's system because they're used to doing things a certain way and they've had to do things that way because they kept getting burnt in the past and here comes a situation that it looks like it's worth taking a chance on but then this person is now having to fight their inner demons and having to fight their inner you know their doubts their fears their insecurities that are valid because you know they've gone through a lot and they've experienced loss um, and betrayal and all that this looks different but it, it's a case of trusting that it is different enough to take a chance on it and that's where this person is and the five of pentacles here they're afraid of loss there's a they're afraid of abandonment they're afraid of things crumbling and falling apart they're afraid of being alone they're afraid of losing their money they're afraid of losing what it is that they're investing in the situation someone's going through a very deep transformation whether it's you or someone else It could be that they feel like this is the last chance or it feels like um, it could be that or there was a situation again something crumbled something completely changed completely um, ended and there's a, a rebirth a restart right or it's the feeling of this almost ended we barely kept it together but I don't want to get to that point because I don't think we're gonna keep it together again I think it's gonna fall apart if we ever get there again and it just feels like yeah someone's battling their own fears and doubts and and um insecurities because they're they've come to a place where they just have to take a chance and go all in in a situation and put everything they have in it for it to be successful but it's not that easy for this person because the last time they did this it really really hurt them it ended very badly and they're only tr they're trying to see the big picture they're trying to do the right thing they're trying to um, calm themselves balance them themselves they're trying to see things differently they're trying to see things from a different perspective um, they're trying to convince themselves you know that kind of comparing this is the current situation it's it is different it feels similar I feel similar about it but it's different the, the, the factors are different the person in front of me is different the, the circumstances are different so it's almost like they're trying to explain it to themselves that you know it 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 may be different it actually it's, it looks different chances are it's going to be different you know but it takes a lot for this person to do that so let's see oracle energy and advice for pisces when it comes to this situation Oracle energy and advice for Pisces when it comes to this situation. 
we have two kings in this reading so it, it's a case of it could have something could have come to a head something there could have been a butting of heads there could have been a ultimatum expressed or perceived we have mother of the salt waters passion wild love open your heart let love in so someone's offering the king of pentacles energy someone's offering true love someone's offering long-lasting abundance long-lasting um, prosperity something very stable and then the other person's looking at it like i think i know what that is i think i think it is what i think it is but i thought that in the past so how do i know for sure this is someone who's trying to know for sure uh in a situation that actually requires faith okay um and that's that's the struggle that's the whole the whole thing it's a situation that requires faith meaning if you follow your heart if you follow the signs and symbols and synchronicities if you follow what your intuition is telling you um that is your confirmation but in the 3d world you don't have the the guarantee someone's looking for a guarantee for something that doesn't have a guarantee it's a case of if you trust it and you go with it it will be successful if you don't trust it it will fall apart you know but someone's looking for something external to them to guarantee that something is going to be a hundred percent solid investment and that's not the nature of the situation it could be an emotional situation it could be a financial situation it could be a romantic situation there is no guarantee here it will be what you make it and someone's struggling to put the past behind them to change their perspective to see things diff from a different perspective um, to open their heart to have hope they're really they're really working on it they're really they're really working on it but it's difficult so the best advice would be to be patient with this person if that's something you want um or for you to ask for a little bit of grace and a little bit of patience if this is you tell them let them know listen this is what i'm dealing with and this is what i'm going through um either help me or just give me a little bit of time or you know talk about it open up and if it's the other way around, try to get them to talk about it. Try to, or, you know, ask them what is it that you need in the situation, you know? Because if it's a, a business transaction, right, tell them what it is you need. Tell them where your doubts are. Tell them what your fears are. Tell them, you know, I could use with more information on that. I could use with that being explained a little bit better so I'm more comfortable with it, right? Open up, talk. What else do we have? We have let it rain, allowing what is, inevitability, and trust. And that's the whole point. That's the whole thing. Something naturally is developing in a direction, right? And this person is struggling with the fact that they feel like they've been here before and they took a chance and it ended badly for them. And so it's difficult for them to trust another, to trust the process, to trust in general ride the waves life lessons and growth you will get through this it's about allowing things to go in the direction that, they, that they're naturally going in right and but in order to allow you have to trust in order to allow something to unfold you have to trust that you'll be okay no matter what happens and i feel like that's what it comes down to for this person that's what they're struggling with clear waters clear vision confirmation right timing opportunity if you're looking for confirmation this is it for you okay this is it for you what you're looking at is worth it what you're looking at is confirmed your thoughts your feelings about it the 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 desire you feel to pull the calling you feel to invest here to trust to go with it to allow this is your confirmation that that is the right thing um and for you know if it's not you that's dealing with this this is for the other person this is what they need right and they're getting there they're getting to a place of having clear vision they're getting to a place of feeling confident about it they do see this as an amazing opportunity they do see that you know it, it seems meant to be and they're just working through making that decision they do a lot of they do do a lot of comparison okay the sun is in the challenge with a clear vision they're, they're doing they're trying to see things clearly they're trying to stick to the facts they're trying to be accurate in their assessments you know they're they're working through it 
So what's the best advice for Pisces in this situation? We have the Four of Cups, we have the Hierophant, the Magician, and the Nine of Cups. This, I, I say, again, this is someone that's tried this before, has been here before, they got burnt in the past. It's definitely to do with a big commitment, a long-term commitment, again, with trusting and uh, coming together with another and then sticking by what was promised, okay? Trusting that people are gonna keep their word. Um, that's the whole, that's what's going on. And then with the Magician and the Nine of Cups, it's exactly what we were saying earlier, of it will be what you make it. And that's what this person is struggling with, to tell themselves, to have that confidence that, you know what, no matter what happens, I'll make it work, I'll figure it out. And in terms of advice, this is saying, just allow, have patience, have grace. If this is something that you want, just know that the other person is working on it, or whoever it is that has these issues, um, they are working on it, they are working through it. If this is something you want, this is saying, have patience, have grace. Um, ask them what it is they need. Ask them if, you know, what kind of help they need, what kind of clarity they need. Or if it's a case of, do they need more time? Be open, be honest, put it all on the table. And you'll have a really positive outcome with the Nine of Cups. Okay, you'll get that yes. But yeah, for you, don't lose hope, don't lose faith. They are working through it. They are working through whatever the obstacle is, whatever the fear is, whatever the trauma is. And if this is something that you want, you can have it. This is the approach, right? Five of Cups, the High Priestess, the Empress, Eight of Swords, someone who's afraid to open their heart, afraid to let love in, afraid to uh, trust. Um, when it comes to an opportunity towards abundance, an opportunity towards prosperity, because they've been hurt in the past. They're trying to be fair, they're trying to be balanced, they're trying not to let their trauma rule them and, and cloud their judgment. They're trying to see the truth and try, trying to see things clearly. But just be aware, this is what's going on, because they may not show it. On the outside, they may look fine, right? But they're going through a lot um, and battling some, some old demons here, okay? So just be aware of that. And if this is you, we can't control the world. We can't control what other people are gonna do. We can't control what is gonna happen in a situation that's not up to us. The only thing we can control is how we're going to react to it, all right? So if you are struggling with this, the perspective, the different perspective that you're trying to find that you know I'm offering you is to focus on you feeling secure within yourself, meaning, no matter what happens, even if it does go to hell, even if it does fall apart, work on feeling confident and stable within yourself, okay, with the magician energy. Like, no matter what goes on, I'll figure it out. No matter what happens, I'll figure it out. I'll be okay. I've been through worse. I've learned from every single thing that I've been through. I'll be okay. And that will give you that sense of peace and that will give you that sense of, of confirmation and that will give you that sense of confidence to say yes to things, to take a chance, you know, because obviously that, along with everything else you've been doing with the King of Swords, doing your research, asking all the right questions, getting all the right information, getting all the right proof, getting everything in writing or, you know, being clear and open and direct in your communication, you've been doing all of that. So that combined with you feeling good about your own capability, you know, that whatever happens, you'll figure it out, will give you that peace in your mind and in your heart that allows you to go, you know what, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to take a chance on it. This feels good. This looks good. I've done my research. I trust it. I'm going to take a chance. And you know what, even if it is the wrong decision and if it, if, if it does fall apart, I'll be okay. I'll figure it out, you know, and that turns the opportunity into you know, fulfilling its potential and being what it's meant to be. If we embrace it with a good head on our shoulders, but trust, right? It will grow, it will develop, it will unfold the way it's meant to. If we try to restrict it, control it, to have that 100% guarantee in a situation that does not have guarantees, cannot give guarantees, um, then we end up kind of 
breaking it down and tearing it down because we're trying to just get that guarantee and that's that comes from trying to control things and that does come from experiencing loss and betrayal and hurt it's perfectly understandable but when we work on healing those parts of yourself um, of ourselves that have gone through that and have had to develop coping mechanisms and defense mechanisms the need to control being one of them once we have worked and healed that part of us that need to control kind of goes away and is replaced by trust because we do get to a place of you know what no matter what happens I can count on me a hundred percent I can count on me that's my guarantee you know so I hope that helps I really do I'm gonna leave it there I'm looking forward to your thoughts uh, check out your weekly in the description okay uh, that's for the collective but it could resonate with you as well and stay tuned for more readings all right take care Pisces bye for now